two years, my boyfriend Jordan and I have been traveling all throughout the world in our little school bus. We traveled all throughout the States, went up to Alaska, down to Mexico, all throughout Central America. We even hopped over to Europe for a month and came back. And now, we ended up in Panama. And we're planning on planting our feet here and setting up camp. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, why did you choose Panama? Today, we're gonna explain to you 10 reasons why we chose Panama. We're gonna list these 10 reasons off in order from what we think are most interesting or most exciting for us to least exciting. So if you guys get bored of this video, yeah, at least you get the best stuff. But the first reason why we're moving to Panama is because of taxes. So when we become permanent residents here, we will pay 0% in income tax. Uh, that's about a 25% raise for both Kaylee and I because our taxes were about 25% in the United States on income And that's because if you guys want more info on this, it's called the foreign tax exemption So I don't want to take this whole video going to detail on tax laws So we'll put an article up on our website the nomadicmovement.com the links in the description if you want more info Until you came, I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I was speechless when we so the next topic is weather. It's between 60 and 80 degrees, 365 days out of the year. There's a wet season and there's a dry season. So in the morning you wake up and you have that cool, crisp fall air and then by two in the afternoon you can go swimming in the pool and then by nighttime it's cool enough where you could have a bonfire. Roasted marshmallows. Roasted marshmallows. It's my kind of weather. You wanna be in our video? So we're making a video about the best things about living in Panama. What's your favorite thing about living in Panama? The freedom. The freedom. The freedom. No rules. Well, there's rules, you know, but I mean, it's it's a lot freer than the United States. The United States has so many signs. Don't do this. Don't do this. No dogs on the beach. If you want to go down to the beach where I go, yeah. you not only can bring your dog, but you can bring a whole herd of cattle and your horses and everything else and run them down the beach and nobody will mention it. And you can't do that on Cape Cod, I gotta be honest with you. Those days are gone. Thank you. Good seeing you. Hey, my pleasure. Bye. See you around. I think I can see what everybody else sees. It's great. That's our buddy Harry. He's been living here for, I think, 15 or 20 years. He was one of the first expats to come in here. So it's good to get his perspective. The freedom is a big thing that's drawing us to. Uh, being able to build the homes that we want to build because we want to build tiny homes and building tiny homes in the United States is so so difficult when it comes to coding and permits and all that stuff but to keep going on our list of the reasons why we're moving to Panama the third thing is because of the prices here so Kaylee and I just went out to eat we spent five dollars a piece we as you guys saw we each got an entree and we got a drink I got a coffee Kaylee got a pumpkin spice latte and I don't think you could even go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin spice latte now for $5. It's just so expensive. Here, five, six bucks, you get yourself an awesome meal, a drink, maybe even an appetizer too. So the fourth reason is this right here. This is a security police checkpoint when you're leaving and when you're coming into Boquete. So the one when you're leaving is a little bit further down, but the one you're going into Boquete, you have to cross through that checkpoint every single time. So basically in Panama, we feel really, really safe. Especially in Boquete, we feel really, really safe, which is a really important thing. And also to go along with safety, the other day I was on the internet and I saw a fellow YouTuber with a few hundred thousand subscribers and their whole channel was stolen from them because someone stole all their information through a public, unsecure Wi-Fi. So we decided to take on a VPN sponsor because I think this is really important. So the VPN that we've partnered with is Surfshark. If any of you guys don't know what a VPN is, it basically puts a security wall in between you and a public Wi-Fi. So let's say if you go into Starbucks or McDonald's and they don't have a secure Wi-Fi system, 
you're basically broadcasting all your information to anyone else on that Wi-Fi network. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what happened to this person is they got their YouTube credentials stolen, someone stole their YouTube channel and now it's gone. And that was a huge wake up call for us that you know we need to protect our information. Yeah. And if any of you guys do anything important on your phone, whether you do banking or YouTube or your email or anything, most people have important information on their phone, we highly recommend you use a VPN. And Surfshark is awesome. They're highly, highly recommended with really high ratings as well. And we have a special deal for you. You get 83% off if you use our discount code in the description and you get a month for free. It sounds a pretty good deal to me. So the fifth reason we wanna to move to Bogete, Panama is this. This is the airport. It's only 45 minutes from Bogete. And this is extremely important for Jordan and I because we wanna have easy access to be able to travel wherever, whenever we want. And look, they got a helicopter over there so we could just hop in. The next thing we love is one moment you can be up in the beautiful mountains and the next. You're at a beautiful beach, looking out at the Pacific Ocean, and even better than that, like what Harry said, you can bring your dog and you can let him run around. Oh, Lola, you're so dirty. Honey, you stay in the back, okay? This isn't our car, this is our friend Jackie's car. And I know in 0.5 seconds, Lola's gonna hop over that seat and try to jump in the back seat. Go back! Go back, Lola. Go back. Back. Go back. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Stop. Kaylee has been not very happy since we've gotten to the beach. <laughs> I don't think she's a big fan now that we've been up in Bogete. Oh my god, you guys. I just want to reiterate the whole weather thing again because we've been traveling on the west coast all through so many beautiful beaches, which has been amazing for the last couple years. But it's and bringing it all back, how hot it is. It's bringing it all back, and there's no escape when we're in that hot, sweaty bus. We have that little fan that's all we have to relieve ourselves. The other thing about Boguete, we'll say that this is number seven, is all the land around there is so fertile. And this, I mean, this is all sand. We'd have a really hard time growing crops here, and it's really, really hot. But up yeah. in Boguete, it's all really, really fertile because there's a volcano, so it's all volcanic black soil and if you look around there's just farms everywhere so that's the seventh thing we love about Bogete. I just want to welcome you guys to Kaylee's favorite store Organica. <laughs> My second home sweet home. <laughs> Away from Whole Foods. And it's actually not that much more expensive. It's really not surprisingly and I think it's because they get everything shipped to the Panama Canal and that's easy access for them to ship it right up here to Bogete. And that's the next thing that we love. It's... I think you gotta, you gotta e sit. Easy access to the comfort American foods that we have sacrificed being away from for the last two years. We have it right here in Bogete. Welcome to the Bogete Hospital. It's a small hospital, but if you need help, you can go here, you can see a doctor, and it costs $12 to be seen. Or you can go down to David where we were earlier, also costs $12, and they have a really big, nice hospital there if it's something serious. I think the cost is what we love about Panama, $12. And if you want to get insurance, Jackie was telling us it's like 2 to $4 a month for health insurance or you can get international health insurance which allows you to use your health insurance in a bunch of different countries and that costs 60 to 80 dollars depending on your age so there's options but the big takeaway is any type of health care and being seen by a doctor anything here much 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 less expensive than in the states there's our good old bus in case any of you guys are missing it we're definitely missing living inside there but we got one last thing one last reason, this really doesn't so much apply to us, this is why we're putting it at the end, but we think it's a big deal. One last reason why we think maybe you guys would love living in Panama. And it's a really big expense for everybody. You wanna tell them? Yes, sir. That is utilities. So the cost for water and trash here is $12 total a month. The cost for electricity, about $20 a month. So this doesn't really apply to us that much because we're gonna do off-grid. I know it's really cheap, so it's not super practical, but it is for environmental reasons, and it also is for us as a challenge to be able to live off-grid. It's just like, it's been this dream of ours to be able to be totally self-sufficient. So it's not always about how much things cost, so. Anyways, 
For you guys that are thinking about relocating or interested in coming to Panama, just know your utilities are gonna be dirt cheap. So this is where we're gonna wrap this one up. We hope you guys enjoyed this little 10 reasons of why we're choosing to live in Panama. And if any of you guys, if this resonates with any, you, with any of you, you're all welcome to come and live in Panama with us. We'd love to have you all here. We are building a little community after all and we're looking for a few people to do it with us. But anyways, Panama is an amazing place. We're so excited to call this place home, get our piece of land, start building our off-grid tiny house community. It's right around the corner. We'll see you guys next time.